Alright, is everybody enjoying the rainy day vlog? Let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you are. Let's take a look at this. These uh, these two old muscle cars have been sitting here for a few years now. Um, this is probably a technician's old 5.0 Mustang body from in the shop right there. Technicians, they are uh, notorious for leaving their old vehicles in the car dealership parking lots, you know, instead of keeping them at home or whatever. But that's okay because they're working on them in the shop when they get time or when they get the money. But God, right, does that look crazy or what? I mean, that engine's just poof, it's gone. Still got the old transmission under there, if you're ever curious how that. We got some little tumbleweed growing in there and an MSD ignition. What about y'all? Do does anybody like that old school body style Mustang? The uh, That's the trunk, trunk version? I do, I think they're cool. I like the one that kind of looks like that in the front, but it's got the hatchback in the rear. I like that body style a little bit better. There's the old Corvette there. My mom had a vet just like that. Hers was white with red interior and uh, all fiberglass. Pretty cool Corvette. This is the one that has the rear that kind of boom, boom, cuts like that. Then my mom traded in the vet like this and bought one that looked like that, but it was like a 1991. It had the rear end that was more rounded. She had that. She had, I think that's somebody's actual car. <laughs> but anyways, my mom actually had uh, eight Corvettes throughout her lifetime. Her first car was a Corvette. So you can see why I'm so interested in vehicles. Always rode with her to the car dealerships and all that kind of stuff. So uh, anyways, God bless her. She passed away in 2008 and uh, she was just dreaming of having a new vet back then. All right, so this is the next car we're looking at, a yellow Ford Mustang convertible. So let's walk up front and find it. All right, there she is, the yellow Ford Mustang. Would any of y'all drive a yellow Mustang like this? Is that not bright or what? Holy mackerel. Here's the key to it. Let's try this in remote start, see how that works today. Hit this two times. Ford has the easiest remote start system. I mean, literally hit the button twice, it cranks up. I've had other car brands I've done the remote start on, and I've sat there and y'all seen it on the videos. I'm like, uh, why isn't it cranking, right? Anyways, look at that. Pretty sweet. And, uh, you know, this color on this Mustang, I mean, everybody's going to see it when you're driving down the road. So let's take a few minutes and do a video today about this Mustang right now. We're in the Mustang. Oh, yeah. If you can see a little bit of that hood there, you can tell. Oh, man, bright yellow. I mean, let's, uh, it's raining right now, so I got a special spot I'm going to take this Mustang to on the lot out here to, uh, to film it. And uh, let's figure out how the wipers work. Here we go. Uh, nope, that's not doing it, is it? So how do we get these wipers on? This is a confusing one, isn't it? Well, there's no wiper. <laughs> Anyways, hold on a minute. Oh, you know why I can't do anything? Because I remote started it a second ago. And uh, I got to put my foot on the brake, then hit this button. Now she's alive. And well. And uh, yeah, now I should be able... Oh yeah, now I got some power steering that I didn't have a minute ago. And let's hit the wipers here. Ooh. Nice wiper, nice wiper. And let's zoom in on that window over there. I want y'all to kind of see this. Before I do that though, let's show you the lighting on this Mustang. I'll we'll put it in drive, okay? Not a manual, just an automatic transmission. I'm loving the start stop button. I'm loving all these cool looking uh, switches. Pretty sweet, got paddle shifters. I'm gonna pull up to the window here so y'all can see this. I want y'all to see this lighting on here. This is pretty sweet. Let's zoom in right about there. All right, cool. Hang with me, hang with me. See if I can get it focused right there. So, well, of course it wants to focus in on the uh, the window. I'm trying to get it to focus in. There you go. So I want y'all to see some of the lighting on the Mustang. It's pretty sweet. I'm just trying to get the camera focused. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And then let's hit the brights. Okay, the brights aren't cutting on, are they? I don't know, maybe it's the right hand switch. No, no, no. That's your blinkers. See how that blinks? Yeah, that blinks, yeah. All right, that's weird. Anyways, hitting the brights over here and it's not really shooting me the brights. Let's put it in reverse. All right, we're in reverse. Let's go ahead and back this little puppy up. That's it, you know, the Mustang has definitely came a long way. It's not your tiny little sports car anymore, okay? It's not your tiny sports car anymore. It's it's big, it's got backup cameras. I mean, the technology is crazy inside this thing. It's got a lot of power. Uh, this one is a convertible top. Let's see what we can do. 
See, there's the Mustang over there that used to be the little small sports car. See that? That old 5.0 liter over there? That was the car that was lightweight, didn't weigh a whole lot. And there was its competition, the Chevy Corvette. Anyways, we're taking the Mustang to a, uh, to a shed in the country. Probably the only uh, video you're gonna see on YouTube with a practically brand new car going inside of a shed in the country. But that's what you get on Charleston car videos, folks. Okay, that's why we do this stuff. So today we're gonna be looking at the lighting, checking it out. Lighting looks pretty good, don't it? Look at that. Cooled seats, very nice. Up top, there's your lighting up there. What do you have in your mirrors? Uh, come on, how do you even open this mirror? There we go. Got to have some fingernails. Yeah, just regular lights there. All right, let's hop out. Whoa! Is that bright yellow, folks? Oh, yeah, it is. Fog lights looking good down at the bottom there. They're LED fog lights. Got to be. They got that white color to them. I'm assuming so. Let me know in the comments if they are or not. What do y'all think? Headlights look good. I'm liking those three bars there. <clears throat> I'm liking down there. That looks looking nice pretty sweet. What do y'all think about the yellow on the Mustang? Is that sporty or what? Or does that more look like a banana coming down the road? I actually had a uh, Ford Probe GT back in the day. And um, yeah, I painted it yellow. Then I took it to Nopi International's car show in Atlanta and got a third place trophy in the Ford Probe class. And uh, all my friends in the car club used to call it the anal probe coming down the road. Look at the anal probe. Anyways, the Ford Probe was pretty cool back in the day. It really was. Not sure why Ford quit making the Probe. Be cool if they came back with it. How's that back end? Pretty sweet. Got a dealer tag on the back. I guess they're going to let me take it home, right? Not bad. I like making these uh, lighting reviews for y'all because, again, like I say, nobody else is doing it online. And I just think it's so important for everyone to get to see the actual lighting on the vehicle. Because, hey, you buy a car and you don't really get to see the lighting until you get home and drive it at nighttime. Yep, LED is up under there. Not bad, so a lot of cool LED lighting. Does it have puddle lights on the mirror like a luxury or a SUV vehicle, right? Does it? Well, yes, it does. I'll point that out to you right now. So look at this. I'll show you something, though. Look at that. Oh, there it goes. It faded away. It looked like a ghost. So pretty sweet when you open up that door, the, uh, the pony comes on the ground right there. And what better to have it on the ground with the dirt and the leaves and all that good stuff, right? Man, the mosquitoes are getting bad right now. So we're not going to spend too much more time out here because I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. And uh, I definitely don't want to catch any kind of crazy disease. Or, uh, and I just don't want to have mosquito bites all over me. So I'm going to get back in here. Oh, God, they're biting me on my neck, on my ear. Oh, damn mosquitoes. Oh, there's that right there. You got a little red accent going on in there, which is nice. And there's a little spot for where the bulb's at. The Mustang logo lights up nicely there. You got all this stuff lighting up here and all this bright lighting up there and here and there and every freaking where. There's cool lights inside the Fords. So, let's get back in. Oh, man, those mosquitoes. Woo! All right. Boost vacuum. Pretty sweet. There's a lot of cool features on this Mustang. Does have a convertible top. This is a soft top convertible. Oh, I'm just show you backup camera real quickly. There's that. Um, well, now, just so you know, my frame rates on my camera are making it do that shutter effect or whatnot on the on the uh, picture there. But uh, from my own two eyes looking at it, it's not doing that. Okay, I've tried to figure out how to get the shutter or get the frame rate speed to properly match up with vehicles so it doesn't do that but uh you know i got all this expensive camera stuff i'm one of those goofballs that just <laughs> just hits record and starts filming okay and uh anyways so there's your yellow mustang what did y'all think of that that was pretty cool huh check out if you're watching check out the video i just did on that car right there the nissan 370z i pulled it under the shed today and did a little bit of lighting review on that vehicle um, also did a lighting review on the new 2017 ford explorer sport so uh i'm trying to answer some of y'all's uh questions and, and things that you're asking for and your requests by doing these reviews on the lighting so thank you for doing that 
Again, uh, this was the last vehicle I'm filming today at the Ford store. Now I'm going to head down to the Chevrolet store, see what we can get into down there. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed looking at this yellow Mustang, if you're interested in buying it and you live near the Carolinas, uh, don't feel like you're, don't hesitate to give them a call or email or anything like that to Ravenel Ford. Um, we're here to sell cars, folks, and that's the main thing, okay? I mean, I, I make good content, try to, uh, to put up on YouTube and on these dealership websites and things like that. But uh, also, at the same time, the dealerships want to be able to sell cars from the videos. So uh, I know some of y'all watching may never buy a car from us. But if you're one of those people that could and you live near here or if you see something that you know you watched on the channel that you're interested in buying, like that Chevy Corvette down there at the Chevy store, I've had some comments on that. Again, do like you were doing, whoever that guy was that did that. Um, comment, let me know. Uh, I'll work the price out, try to figure out with the internet guy here if we can do it. And uh, we'll make it happen. So again, we really do want to sell vehicles. I do these videos to help these dealerships sell cars, okay? And uh, it's been working since 2011, but again, one day, a new manager could come in and say, you know, I just don't think what you're doing is helping us all that much, right? And see you later. Won't be filming Ford videos out here anymore, right? I'm not saying that's happening. And uh, again, I've been doing it since 2011. But you never know. On any given day in the car business, your head could be hacked right off. So uh, there we go. All right, it's raining. I'm going to try to go down to Chevy, film some cars. But here we go. Look at that. What do y'all think? Does the Nissan Titan, are they copying Ford? Look at the rear end on that new Titan. That's the XD. If you've ever seen a uh, Ford Platinum, a new body style, very similar how they put the silver on the back. What do you think of that? y'all think is a Subaru STI a good car for driving in the rain <clears throat> just Subaru in general I think so uh, the symmetrical all-wheel drive they have it handles really well so what do y'all think that little Subaru is passing by me it seems like every time I see a Subaru while pouring down rain on the interstate or the highways they always seem to be driving faster and flying by people 